Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. We're going to talk today about CTCSS and DCS tones. But first, I want to clarify some terms. Tone is transmission to the repeater. Tone is analog. It works only on FM and FM narrow. Tone is required to access most amateur repeaters these days. You will hear tone referred to as CTCSS, PL, repeater tones, ENCODE, and sometimes TX tone. Tone is not tone squelch. They're related, but definitely different functions. So, let's talk about tone squelch. Tone squelch is transmission of the CTCSS tone to the repeater and turns a feature on on your radio that blocks incoming signals. With tone squelch engaged, your radio hears only an incoming signal that has a matching tone value. Otherwise, your radio hears nothing. Tone squelch is also referred to as TSQL. That's what you'll see in our programmers. Decode, although there's an encode that goes with it. RxCTCSS or Rx Tone. Tone squelch is used to quiet noise that might be on the signal from the repeater. Your radio will work on a repeater that has tone squelch, even if you don't have tone squelch turned on. On some repeaters, you'll be told that it uses DCS. This is digital coded squelch. DCS is comparable to tone squelch. The same transmit and receive of the signal, the same deafness on your radio if you set it up wrong. Decode in the RT systems programmers is equivalent to tone. Digital coded squelch is a digital tone. It is used on an FM analog system. DCS is not used on any of the digital modes. The RT Systems programmers have a column called Tone Mode. We call this the switch that turns the tone on. In that column, for most radios, you have none, which is no tone system engaged. Tone, which is CTCSS transmit only. Tone squelch, which is CTCSS transmit and a blocking CTCSS on your radio. DCS, which is a DCS code transmit and a blocking signal on your radio. Decode, which is a DCS transmit only. Detone, which is DCS transmit and CTCSS blocking. The one that comes first is what it's doing first or on the transmit. TDCS is CTCSS transmit and DCS blocking. This is what the options look like in most of the radios. They vary 
depending on manufacturer and radio. If you don't see what you need in your list for your radio, give us a call. We'll check on that for you and help you get your CTCSS set up the way you need it. If in doubt with the information you're given, set tone mode to tone for a CTCSS value or decode for a DCS value. That way you'll hit the repeater, your transmission will get out, and you can have some fun talking to some folks and meeting some new friends. This way, you don't stop all the signals coming back into your radio and hear nothing. I'm going to transition now into a discussion of what got all this started, talking about tone and tone squelch. A customer brought in information he had received and just didn't know how to handle it. I leave it with you if you want to stay with me a little bit longer. It'll be good information for you. This is information from a website for GMRS repeaters. You can tell that by the 462 frequencies. And notice that it says encode and decode. And the customer called and just had no idea what to do with the information in the columns and how to set it up in his radio so it would work. And this is where all these discussions on tone and tone squelch got started. But this is actually a very special case. So let me explain and help you make those decisions. Along with encode and decode, this first one has DCS for encode and PL for decode even more terms to get used to. Then so do this second one and these other two on the page. This one and the others are PL for just encode and decode, and that makes them a little easier to set up since the two options match. To set this channel up in your radio, when encode and decode are both PL, you set tone mode to TSQL, you set CTCSS to the value shown, and if your radio has an RX CTCSS column, you set that to the value shown. Now, that was a big if. If your radio does not have an RX CTCSS column, that means it only has one CTCSS value that it uses both for encode and decode. For our example here, it will work just fine. But if you're given two different values, you back down and set tone mode to tone and the CTCSS value to the one shown for encode. Then you will hear all the traffic It'll come back to you. You won't block your incoming signal because you can't do the two different tones. One more, not much more to do, and you'll get all these programmed up. You have the channels that are DCS PL. Remember, in the programmer, there is a D tone option for tone mode, that is DCS encode and CTCSS decode. 
That's the combination that you're shown here. So you set D tone, pick your DCS code value shown here from the column that becomes active, and pick the CTCSS value from the column that becomes active. Just a note, the N on the back of the DCS value shown here just means that they're both normal, which is the most common and probably what you'll see most of the time these days. Wait, wait, I only thought I was finished showing you, but I have one more important thing that you need to know that may make a difference in you hearing a signal and helping someone or not hearing a signal and giving up on the hobby. And I would hate that. When you look up a repeater on Repeater Book or on R Finder or other sources that you can find information on, you may find that tone mode is tone squelch. Most of those sources are maintained by the repeater operators. And a lot of people call just tone tone squelch when all they need is a tone for you to access the repeater. They have not set the repeater up with tone squelch, so it's not sending a signal back to you. And especially if you are pulling information for a new area that you're visiting and you want to hear everything that's going on and your list returns with tone and tone squelch. That is a good way to hear nothing. I would recommend that you take tone and change all those tone squelches to tone. As I said earlier, that will work with the repeater. It just may, may be a little bit noisy, but then at least you hear what you're looking for. Even if you turn some of the nuns to tone, you are not going to hurt anything. It's just an extra signal that the repeater will ignore, won't transmit, nobody will hear it. But if you need that tone, you have it turned on and you don't have it turned on on your radio, blocking you from hearing incoming signals. So my advice is to change all these tone squelches to tones and try your file that way, especially the first time out. And then if some of them are too noisy because of interference on the repeater from other sources, go back in and turn on tone squelch. That gives you something new to experiment with. Good luck and good listening. Wow, that was a lot today about tones and tone squelch. I'll let you take it and think about it. And hopefully it'll be just the information you need to get you on the air, get you talking and in touch with lots of new friends and enjoying your hobby. So this is Karen, KD4DXX. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.